All right, should be good. All right, guys, so as we all know, as the whole world knows, I have gone through a pretty major transformation within the past year, a little more than a year here on YouTube and just on social media in general. I've opened up about it. I seem to not want to shut up about it, but honestly, it was like a very pivotal thing for me. This is going to be more of like a serious video, just so you guys know. I just kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and just have this like honest conversation because it is something that I have been dealing with and something that has left me feeling very confused and honestly not that good about myself. So kind of what caused this whole video is, if you guys didn't know, I do have a podcast with my best friend Alicia. It's called Pretty Basic. It'll be linked down below if you guys wanna hear it. But the episode that just went live today actually is talking all about my weight loss and this whole thing that, you know, been going on with me and what's come from it and what I didn't expect and losing friends and just all this sort of stuff. But a big thing that we talked about in there is slut shaming. People saying that you've changed and now you're a quote, slut mm -hmm. just gonna say it mm -hmm. you know if, if you're twerking on a wall mm -hmm. or and you are you you're the same freaking person mm -hmm. but I think the re the way that I can deal with it is like you know I know I'm not I'm not a slut I'm like the far oh, I know I'm that. the farthest thing from it in case you didn't know within the past you know, year or so I've dealt with a lot of it so if you guys want to listen to the episode again it'll be linked down below I highly recommend listening to it if you guys kind of want a little bit more story and like backstory on this in this video today I wanted to talk about the fact that within the past year obviously I have physically changed we all know that I won't again I won't shut up about it but it's something that I'm so proud of I've completely changed my lifestyle and I've never been this happy in my entire life in this year I've grown immensely i've changed physically i've grown mentally i my interests have changed all these things have been happening it's been great but i will say the one thing that has always stayed constant is my moral compass and my morals and how i treat people and also my sense of humor <laughs> so for me from being one size at my heaviest i was like maybe a 12 14 down to now where i'm like a size six. I've seen both sides of the spectrum in that sense. And also I have faced many double standards and I think that they are A, unacceptable, but I've also reached the point of now almost this acceptance with just understanding that it is inevitable and it's just going to happen, which is very sad that I've come to this place, but honestly it's Help me keep my sanity. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, whether it was when I started this channel in like 2012, 2013, or you're watching me now, you know, my sense of humor has always been very idiotic. <laughs> I've always just acted really stupid and I don't really care. I always just kind of do whatever. I've been throwing my legs up in the air since 2013 or however long. The amount of split pictures I've taken over the years or putting my leg up in the air, legs up ladies, whatever it is. I'm surprised I have not torn a ligament yet from how many times I've done it. And yes, let me just say, I understand. A lot of people don't think it's funny. A lot of people view it as obnoxious and every everything like that. Totally understand. It's just my sense of humor. I think it's funny. And I've always thought it's funny. But at one point, there was this switch where, let me tell you, I've been doing it for years and years and years. Overnight, at some point, it switched from being funny, stupid, whatever, to I'm a slut. Close your legs. You're a whore. You look like a porn star. Are all, all these things, when I'm doing the exact same thing the only thing that's really changed is my body shape so that's just like my question that is the double standard that i'm facing think about it this way for me i feel like a lot of people forget i'm just like a normal human being we're all just normal people i think a lot of people forget that their words have meaning and that what they say even though you might think that we don't see it we do and again we're just normal people going through normal life at one point there was that initial comment for me that went from oh my god that's so funny to you're a slut. And when it happened, the only thing that I can say that I felt was just pure confusion. Because to me, I hadn't changed. I'm still doing the same thing. I still have my leg up in the air. I've been doing this for years, people. I've been dropping it low on the dance floor, twerking out in public, not caring. It was funny. It was almost like, oh my God, like she shouldn't be doing that. So like, this is good for you, girl. Like, yes, confidence. You go to now when I do it, it's you're slutty, this, 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 all these like awful things when I'm doing the exact same thing. And this video isn't me coming on here being like, I'm mad and I'm upset because I've been through it. I've been through the the shock, the confusion, th being upset, like I've been through it all. Whereas now, as I said earlier, like I just accept it that it is 
inevitable and I think it's hard because I am just a normal person but also it does come with the territory of being a social media influencer that comments like this are going to come. People are always going to have an opinion on how, what you should do, how you should live your life. I've been doing YouTube for six years and I thought about it the other day. There has not been one thing in my life or decision that I've made or something that hasn't been influenced by what other people think. Daisy Mae, can you come here? Mommy's trying to be serious for like one minute. But mom's making a speech right now so we're just gonna have to hold. A little social experiment that I wanted to run was I saw this picture of Alyssa Violet on my Instagram feed. I'm sure we all know who Alyssa Violet is. She's another YouTuber, Instagram, model, beautiful, super funny. I love her content and I love her because she's goofy and she's hilarious and she's always just like dancing and doing all this stuff but she's also like super beautiful at the same time and like I don't know. I just love her a lot. So yeah, I saw this picture of her on my Instagram feed of her posing in a bikini and I thought she looked amazing and I looked through her comments and every single comment was like, yes, get it, hot, da da da, all this stuff because she is, she's hot, she's beautiful, she's all these things. And I thought, what would happen if I posted this same picture? And here's how that went. All right, so we are in Palm Springs right now for a photo shoot and uh, Alyssa Violet just posted a beautiful photo of her being the angel that she is and uh, we're gonna recreate it. Doing it and I'll, let's do back. <laughs> how did she even do it? Oh God, that back. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Her, if, if she was looking straight, she would be angled. Oh. So she's, wait. Rem, what did I just tell you? <laughs> what did I do, did I do wrong? Maybe up more. That actually looks pretty good. Did I do it? Am I Alyssa? Pick yeah. taken. I look yeah. constipated. Yeah. And I'm also terrified to post this yeah. because I can only imagine the comments. They're gonna be so mean. I already know it. All right, I recreated the picture and then it was time to post it. And let me tell you, when I say that I was nervous, that is a complete understatement because I felt like I was going to be ripped alive. Wow, I look so rough. Oh my god. Hi guys, so it is currently Tuesday, November 27th. It is 8.36 a.m. We're really recreating the background picture right now, aren't we? Yes. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really, really, really nervous. I feel like I know the reaction. I feel like all my friends in real life are gonna be like, yes, queen, get it! Like, just hyping me up because they're the best. But I do think there are going to be some not so nice comments, most likely from people I don't know. Comment controls, a few words that I've blocked from my comments. The words are fat, obese, slut, slutty, and weight. These are just words that over the past, however long I've had Instagram, five years, that I see often in my comments and they don't make me feel the best so I've blocked them from anything but for this experiment I'm going to delete them and I honestly think it's completely fine to put blocked words on your comments if you want I don't think anyone should have to like keep them if you don't want them oh my god my stomach is like turning a little bit I will say it's weird to intentionally post something like this versus posting something and then getting comments without really expecting them all right there it is we're gonna share it. Ooh, there it goes. There we go. All right, guys. Hello. We are back. It is currently 12.06 a.m. Technically kind of the next day. We're just gonna read some of the comments that I've seen throughout the day. So I captioned the picture, if you only knew, because I thought it'd be funny, because if they only knew I was posting this for the reason. LOL, knew what? That you're a porn star? No, Remy, I've always loved you for being you. Happy, dorky, and just yourself. Don't turn into a typical YouTube girl. What does that even mean? A YouTube girl? Yeah, what does a YouTube girl mean? Literally, just do porn. You'll get the male attention you are apparently so desperate for. <laughs> what the heck? What gives people the right to say that? Slutty, baby, slutty. <laughs> Which actually is kind of funny because it's a play on content, baby content. <laughs> I get what they were doing there. Yo, why did Miss Remy Ashton have to post that? I get that she lost a lot of weight, but who is she now? Who is she now? Who are you? Men are jerking off to this pic. I'm sure she knows that. Just saying she's one step away from porn. And believe it or not, there are many, 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 many more than just that. Those were just some of the really juicy ones. But before I end this, I want to read you one last comment that I saw that I was a little shook by. Okay, so when Alyssa Violet does this, she gets positive comments and everyone's fine with it. But when Remy does it, she's an automatic porn star. WTF is wrong with y'all. This was my whole reasoning for that. I just wanted to She see. was like spot on. I, went, I saw and I was like, what? That's I, th I think it comes back to you not fitting the mold. Like you're not a model, so you can't do this. I think it's like people put me in a box in their brain of not being able to look a certain way, to be a certain way in their brain. So now that I am trying to be hot and things like that, now it's not accepted because no, you're in my brain as this, this person yeah. and now I'm doing this. And it's like, no, you're not allowed to do that. but I'm gonna keep trying to break my back for these pictures. 
<laughs> Break your neck. <laughs> Break yourself. Break your back. But also at the same time, I'm actually a little surprised because there are even more nice comments than I was expecting. I will say firsthand though, it doesn't matter if there are five, 50, 50,000 nice comments. One mean comment can really, really, really ruin your day. But to everybody who was so nice to me and sweet and just like cheering me on, being my hype girl, being my hype boy on these pictures, thank you because it means a lot to me. But to the people who hated on this picture, I wanna know A, why you think it's okay to comment things like that on someone's picture, even if I didn't see it, even if this picture wasn't for a social experiment or for a video and I was just posting a picture of me feeling myself in a bikini because I worked hard to be there and I wanted to and I felt good and I just wanted to post it. Why do you think it's okay to comment that on someone's photo? Because I will never be able to fully understand that and I just don't understand this double standard, but I will also say something that I've learned is that I cannot win. Even if I had posted this picture in my body before, I would have had a slew of body positivity comments, which I would have appreciated just as much. So again, thank you to those people who are just sweet and nice and thank you. And I still would have gotten hate comments, but they would have been that I'm fat, that I'm obese, that I'm a pig, I'm a cow, I need to lose weight, everything which way in between. Even this past weekend, I went on a boat with a bunch of my friends and we were all celebrating a bunch of different milestones and things that were happening for us and I got clocked by, honestly it was like two people but I was still like annoyed, of people saying that I am a bad role model and I shouldn't be posting these things and this and that when I have literally posted the same thing two years ago. I threw a birthday on a yacht for my 22nd birthday party and was going just as wild but for some reason, people had an issue with it now. But I will say, I feel like I have an interesting view because I've seen both sides of it being an influencer and having all these people always giving me their opinions on my life. But then I've also seen it from the other side of being more overweight and having people, you know, screenshot me in my clothes telling me that I shouldn't be wearing crop tops because I'm too big to wear crop tops and that I'm probably wearing a one size fits all shirt just to feel like I can fit in, which who says that to anybody? Who thinks that's okay to say whether I see it or I don't? Oh, I'm getting worked up. I did another video when I lost 12 pounds and I was so so excited. I had worked so hard to do that. I literally did it on a cruise ship with my best friends, which cruise ships are hard when you're on a diet, let me tell you. And I posted a video saying like, you know, this is what I ate and this is what I did to lose weight. The amount of comments on that video that were like, wow, you look even bigger. You haven't lost anything. This is stupid. What are you thinking? Like, I just don't understand. And like all these things, when I lost the weight, I was so excited. I made a vlog saying, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm going to donate these clothes. They don't fit me anymore. I'm so excited. People commenting, telling me, hey, Remy, you should probably keep those clothes for when you gain all the weight back. Who? says this stuff. Because I've seen both sides, I've fully learned and accepted that I can't win. Before, I was heavier. People said, lose weight, you're obese, you're a pig, you're a cow. People would make hate pages just devoted to taking screenshots of me looking, you know, not in my most flattering angles and making fun of me. I lose the weight, I work on myself, I do this, and now I'm a slut. I need to close my legs, I need to do this, I need to do that. When the only thing that's really changed is my physical appearance. So to the people who before thought it was funny and now think it's slutty when I'm doing the exact same thing, I think it's more of something that these people need to like look at themselves in the mirror because you're taking it out on me and honestly it made me feel really bad for a really long time and now I'm at the point where like I can't please everyone so what I've learned overall is that I just need to be unapologetically myself because I can ch completely change myself when people are telling me to change myself and then they're gonna find something new to hate on. I'm gonna keep being my obnoxious, stupid, idiotic, stupid sense of humor self because I like it and it makes me happy and I have fun. So to anybody who is going through what I'm going through or if you're going to go through it or something similar, just know, work on your own happiness because that's all you really have control over. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's really random and different, but it's just something I feel very passionately about, something that I've been dealing with and I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.